I'm Governor Lachlan Macquarie. I arrived in the 1800s to govern the British colony of New South Wales that had begun only 20 years before. I'd like to tell you a story about a convict who transformed their life in the colony. Despite being sent here as a criminal, he became very successful. He has even been portrayed on an Australian banknote. I wasn't even featured on a banknote and I was governor! Let me tell you a bit more about this crafty character, Francis Greenway. Francis was great with a pen, a talented artist and architect. So good, he became a forger. Faking important documents landed him in a prison in England. His forgery past seemed to rub off later on the Australian people, with the banknote bearing his image being a favourite for criminals to make fake notes of. Let's take a look at his life before he arrived in Australia. This is one of Francis's paintings, where he shows us what it was like in the prisons in England. Cramped, uncomfortable and rowdy, these prisons are where you learn how to become a better criminal, and not how to learn good behaviour. Here you might see Francis being distracted with a tickle on the ear, while someone steals his pocket watch. Perhaps poor Francis is reporting the robbery of his pocket watch while it seems to be being gambled away right behind him. If you were lucky and had money before you went to prison, you could pay for better conditions. But many weren't so lucky and lived out their sentence in rags and sleeping on the floor. At the time, there were too many criminals sitting in the English prisons and many were sent by ship as convicts to Australia. Francis, like many others, were destined to live out their sentences in this mysterious land. The journey to Australia was long and uncomfortable. The convicts were kept mainly below deck and had to eat dry, distasteful food. This journey would take at least six months, and your money couldn't buy you more comfortable living quarters like it could in England. Many of the convicts, when they arrived to Australia, had lots of potential I could use. I needed people to help build the colonies and didn't want these convicts making a life of crime. And Francis Greenway, being the talented architect, he was perfect to help me build important buildings in New South Wales. He designed churches, forts, hospitals and a lighthouse. He even built the Hyde Park Barracks, a building where lots of the convicts would be housed. He built things so well, they have lasted over 200 years. Maybe you've walked past some of his buildings before. Who would have thought a convicted criminal could end up on a country's currency? I wonder what other stories we might find on Australia's banknotes.